scandals. Bush. Number three, Library Gate. Yesterday we told you of the lobbyist who worked for Homeland Security demanding a donation of a quarter million to the Bush Presidential Library as a bribe to get in to see senior administration officials. Now more trouble at the future home of the library. While efforts by Methodist groups to rescind the offer to rent the space for the library by SMU, Southern Methodist University, failed, the same group seemed poised to pass a resolution designed to keep the Public Policy Institute at the library utterly separate from the church and the university. The resolution would force the school to maintain its, quote, integrity, even with the Bush Library on campus. And good luck with that. Number two, Justice Gate. Turns out the Bush politicizing of everything went further than even the Attorney General of the time, John Ashcroft, could stomach. Testimony to the House today that when the job opened in 2003, Ashcroft offered the White House a list of five different candidates to head the Justice Department Office of Legal Counsel. But within hours, Chief of Staff Andy Card and White House Counsel Alberto Gonzalez rejected all of them. They wanted one guy, the guy who drafted the torture memo, John Yu. So the other five of them, all of them Republican lawyers with good Republican records, were eliminated from consideration. That number one appeasement gate. What will Mr. Bush make of this? A Western power has decided to establish a diplomatic presence in Iran for the first time in three decades, described as a halfway house before an actual embassy is placed there. This Western nation's diplomats can now be assigned to Tehran, even though the country is still run by the same extremists of whom Mr. Bush said somebody negotiating with them, like Obama, would be guilty of appeasement the way Europe was guilty of appeasing the Nazis. Who has done this evil and short-sighted thing? Who is making diplomatic overtures to the people Bush sees as these modern-day Hitlers? Who is towing the Obama line about negotiating? Us, the State Department, United States government, Bush administration. Hey, Mr. President, if you want to let Senator Obama run your foreign policy for the next six months and three days, that would be fine by the rest of us.